my beautiful friends, Mr. Jonathan Budd here, and today we are going to have one of the most important discussions that you can possibly have when it comes to creating success and happiness as a human being. And that's a bold statement, and you'll see why I made it by the time you get to this video, because it's the truth by the time you get through the end of this video. Now, there's a simple equation, a, a, an actually really, really, really simple equation to feeling like you are living the fullest, most successful, most happy life that you can live as a human being. It's actually a very simple equation. Most of us, you know, struggle and do lots of things because we complicate it, because we don't even know it, because nobody's ever really taught us. But the equation itself is actually very simple, okay? Here's what it is. Number one, first things first, you've got to get incredibly clear on what your top values actually are in life. What are the values that mean the most to you in life? What are the, the needs you have that, that, that mean the most to you when they're fulfilled in life, right? These, this is a way to understand our values. This is a way to look at our values. Now, values could be love. It could be contribution. It could be a connection. It could be friendship. It could be balance. It could be, um, you know, uh, impeccability. It could be wisdom. It could be enlightenment. It could be family. It could be um, anything, really, right? These are, it's just what we value. What are the top things in the whole world, in our life, that we value? Could be success. So, first things first, we have got to get clear, my friends. Got to get clear on what it is we actually value. Because here's the problem. A lot of times, we make up stuff that we value that we don't actually really value. And then we spend our entire life striving to achieve what we don't actually really value. <laughs> and then we wonder why we're unhappy. How come I'm not happy? I got what I want. Or how come I'm not happy? I'm never getting what I want. Or why do I even want what I want? I mean, these are often questions that, um, that we don't see through to, to what's on the other side. And so, first things first, to live as a successful, empowered, fulfilled human being right now, Right? What we need to do is we need to understand our values, our top values. And then here is the second part of the equation. That's the really makes it so simple. It's a two-part equation. We need to spend the majority of our time and attention on what we truly value. Da-da-da. <laughs> That's it, my friends. I wish it was more complicated so that it could be all, you know, sexy and crazy and, you know, mysterious, but it's actually not. The simple equation to live the happiest, most fulfilled, most successful life possible is just spending your time and your attention on what you truly value the most. And I can't tell you how much of my life I have, in a way, screwed this up, right? <laughs> like, it's unbelievable. It seems so simple, yet the majority of my life I've actually spent doing the exact opposite. And a lot of people I know spend a lot of their lives doing the exact opposite. We don't actually spend our time and our attention which is the most precious commodity that we have as a human being. There is nothing more precious than our time and our attention because whatever we give it to is really what we're giving our life to in a way. You get that, right? What we give our time and attention to is what we're giving our whole life to. So it's really our, our most pr precious commodity. And a lot of the times we're going out, we're going out there and we're giving our time and attention to so many things that don't really matter. So many things that are purely inconsequential to us actually living a fulfilled, meaningful, empowered, rich life. We're spending our time doing things a lot of times that we don't even want to do. And this is when human being, human being, finds themselves in a rut that they don't like, okay? 
I guarantee you show me a person who's not happy right now, you show me a person who's stressed, you show me a person who doesn't really like their life, who wants things to change, who whatever it is, who's struggling, who's whatever, show me that person and, and guaranteed when we look at their life, what we find is that they're spending the majority of their time and attention on things they don't really actually value, things that are not their highest values in life. And the equation that we've got to move around, we've got to rework our life so that we're actually spending the majority of our time and attention on what it is we actually value the most. Because here's the thing that we don't understand, my friends. And we don't get this until we take a step back and we look at it from a whole new perspective. You are living a committed life right now. And I'm going to get to some distinctions about what it means to live a committed life in just a second. But you're living a committed life right now. The problem is, is most people have no idea what they're really committed to. No idea what they're really committed to. But they're living their life committed to it. Because here's the truth. What we spend our time and attention on is what we're actually committed to. Now, when I think about society at large, when I think about some of the things going on in our world right now, it's unbelievable how much time and attention as a society we spend avoiding ourselves at a core level, right? All the video games, all the television, all the entertainment, all the stuff, right? It's, it's unbelievable the amount of things that we've created as a culture, as a society, which don't really add value to our life. What values of ours are they really exemplifying, right? I mean, is, how many people can honestly say the most fulfilling thing to me in the entire world is being entertained? How many people can honestly say that my top value in life is being occupied, being entertained? Over here, this is my top value in life, is when I'm occupied. That's a crock of crap. Somebody tells me that, I'm going to look at you and be like, I don't know what you think you are, but I know you're a human being, and I know that that's a crock of crap. Because as human beings, the things we truly value the most, let's be honest here. This is an honest circle, okay? We're entering into honesty. What we truly value the most is connection, is love, is, is, is uh, feeling fulfilled, like our life is meaningful, it's making a difference, it's contributing. Uh, we value family, we value um, improvement in a way. We want to see the world growing and improving. We want to see people happy. We want to see the, the people who are the closest to us and that we love the most happy. We want to see growth. We want to see people achieving their dreams. We're inspired by these stories. We want to see the world getting better. We want to see people getting healthier. We want to see more people coming out of poverty you know, really impoverished conditions and into, you know, more abundance conditions. I mean, these are the things that light up the human heart. You know, art, creativity, expression, um, stories. These, are, these things light the human heart up. When you see a person who's really aligned with their values and their time and attention is spent there, they're activated. You can, you can literally see a light just shining out of them. And that's because it's because they're activated. It's because they're living in alignment with, with the core needs and values of what it means to be human and what, and what fulfills us at the deepest levels. And then I look around us and I say to myself, what, what, how, did, what, how did we get so lost? What happened? I mean, when did being entertained become our top value in life? When did being right and somebody else being wrong become a top value in life? How much of our lives do we spend arguing? How much of our lives do we spend fighting? How much of our lives do we spend running, avoiding? How much of our lives do we s spend just, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Complacency, right? Just keeping ourselves complacent, right? Like just trying to get through the day or or whatever it is we do. How much of our lives do we spend like this? My friends, you are living a committed life. The thing is, do you know what you're really committed to? Because 
what you're committed to, what you're committed to is going to determine the quality of your life. It is going to absolutely determine the quality, the vibrancy, and the potential of your life. And it is time, my friends, it is time that we get conscious to what we're truly committed to. That we bring into our conscious awareness what our commitments actually are. What are we actually committed to? We've got to have a rigorous discipline, a gentle but rigorous discipline with ourselves to observe where we're actually spending our time and attention. And when we look there, is that what we truly value the most? Is that what we really want to be committed to? And the invitation for you today, the opportunity for you today, is to recommit. It's to recommit what you genuinely want to give your life to. What is worth you giving your life to it? Recommit to what your true deepest values really are. Is it love for you? Is it connection? Is it spirituality? Is it nature? Is it adventure? Is it, you know, there's, there's innumerable things that it could be, but what is it for you? Nobody knows what it is for you. I don't know what it is for you. Nobody else can possibly know what it is for you, but you know what it is for you. You know what your heart's deepest yearning is. You know what you want for your life the absolute most. You know that. You, you really do know that. And the invitation that I'm making to you today is to recommit to it. Because my friend, when you recommit to that and when you begin to actually shift your time and attention to really go to the things that matter the most to you, I know that you will achieve success in your life like you never have before. I know that you will be happier in your life like you never have before. I know that you will light up and be activated and activate the world like you haven't before. And I know you will be a shining beacon of leadership and hope and inspiration for all the people in your life, for your whole community, for the people in your work environments, your, your spirituality environments, for all your environments. You will be a, a light, a beacon for everyone around you when you live like that, when you commit to what your highest values are and you live a committed life consciously from this point forward. You're conscious of what you're committed to and that's what you give your life to and it's what really lights you up. And the last thing I'll say about this, my friends, is that this is what true success is. This is, this is all success will ever be. And when we find that reason that we wanted success in the first place, right? If we're, if we're really honest with ourselves, if we're really an honest entrepreneur and we're really, you know, we've got the core values of entrepreneurship, right? Freedom, innovation, you know, love, service. You know, this is, these are the core values of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurs want to serve the world. They want to create innovative new ideas and products and, and they want to get them out to the world and they want to make a difference in people's lives and they want to create freedom and they want to create abundance. They want to create it for everybody, not just themselves. That's what's really at the core of, of entrepreneurship, if you look, right? And it's so important that, that you get in touch with that. That if you're an entrepreneur and you've got this drive for success and this drive for business and this drive for, for reaching your goals in life and creating what's important, that you get in touch with the true core values of entrepreneurship. Because I promise you, if you're doing this for the wrong reason, if you think that this is about you getting money or you getting fame or you getting recognition or if this is just a way for you to feel good about yourself because you've never felt good about yourself and somehow you have a fantasy that, well, once I'm successful and I make a lot of money and other people want my money or want to be like me, then I'll feel good about myself. If, if any of success is about that for you and that's why you're doing it, I'm going to tell you right now that you will never be successful. Even if you get the money, even if you get what you want, 
you will never be successful. That hole in the human heart can never be f fulfilled by being committed to and chasing after what really are not the core values of a human being. Does that make sense? Our core value isn't really so that you can be better than other people, right? Our core value isn't so you can feel good about yourself. Those aren't core values. Core values are service, innovation, love, giving, freedom, abundance. You've, we, we have to be committed to what it truly means to be an entrepreneur. And when, when, when we align our core values um, with our business, with success, with, with the mission of what we're up to, with our goals, that's when it all syncs up. That's when all of a sudden the time you spend working on your business literally feels like you are doing the most you could possibly be doing with your life. You are literally living your dream right now. Even if the money's not coming in, even if it's not what you expect, no matter what it is, you're living your dream right now. Because what you're spending your time and attention on is literally your highest core value. And this is an unbelievable distinction. Because this is why um, so many people struggle and quit is because why they're doing business, why they're in business, why they want to be an entrepreneur, why they want to succeed in network marketing, whatever, is really just to get something that isn't, you know, really a core value. And so the business isn't a core value, it's just a means to an end. And when it gets really hard and all of a sudden they're struggling, well, it's not really worth it because it's unfulfilling. But if you scratch that whole equation and you really understand that, oh my God, working on my business is literally me living my highest core values of freedom, abundance, of, of wealth, of love, of innovation, of service, even if all of these things aren't even existing, just working on my business is me living my highest core values, then guess what? You will spend the rest of your life working on your business no matter what because it's just what fulfills you the most. And this, my friends, is the secret. This is the secret to being unstoppable. And this is why I had no problem sitting in my parents' basement struggling over and over and over and over and over again, failing time and time and time again, but never stopping because every moment I was working on this business felt like I was living my fullest potential and living my core values. And when that is the equation for you, when all that lines up, forget it, it's over, it's done, you are unstoppable. You will create anything you want to create in life and what's better is you're fulfilled before it even happens. You're happy before any of it even happens because you're already living your greatest potential. So my friends, watch this video as many times as you need to. The messages for all of us that are contained in, in this teaching um, are life-changing. And I hope you accept my invitation today to really recommit, recommit to what your true core values are and live a conscious committed life from this point forward. You're conscious of what you're committed to. And I promise you, uh, <laughs> you will know entirely new levels of happiness and success. See you soon.